Star Wars Mosekai and it's pretty cool. There's a long line. It's like 20 minutes long and I'm with Emily today. So we're gonna go check it out. It's not that long of a line. Oh, they're moving. This is everything right now in Japan, and nestled in the city of the rising sun lies an exhibition documenting the fandom that is Star Wars. When you step inside, the first thing you see are movie posters showcasing the old and the new. Following that, a list of all the characters in the new movie release. Impressive replicas of Rey and BB-8. And hauntingly lifelike versions of two stormtroopers and Kylo Ren. It was the eve of the Aomori Nebita Festival, a tradition that has continued for at least a few hundred years. Japan decided to craft innovative Star Wars-based floats and showcase them in honor of the new movie release. The floats are about 5 meters high and made with guidance from Lucasfilm and artists from Aomori Prefecture. Usually they depict samurai warriors. But this time, Japan decided to show their love for the Star Wars franchise. The pictures on the walls explain the creation and presentation of the floats, as well as the Sapporo Snow Festival with an ice sculpture of Darth Vader and Aomori's rice paddy art of characters we all know and love. The last bit of the exhibition showcased several distinct artistic versions of BB-8. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Enjoy! finished at the Star Wars exhibition and it was really cool. It wasn't that big but it was free and today was the last day so it's only a limited time. Sorry guys. <laughs> um, but I'm sure they'll have something next year. I yeah, don't know. Definitely when new movies and things come out they, they usually have different yeah. exhibitions and things going on. So yeah maybe next year they'll have something more yeah. interesting but at least I got to show you guys so you don't have to come all the way here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Okay thanks for watching. Bye guys.